good afternoon. Uh, this afternoon, I'm going to be reading from Psalms 44, verses 1 to 3 in the ESV. O oh God, we have heard with our ears, our fathers have told us, what deeds you performed in their days, in the days of old. You with your own hand drove out the nations, but them you planted. You afflicted the peoples, but them you set free. For not by their own sword did they win the land, nor did their own arm save them. But your right hand and your arm and the light of your face, for you delighted in them. Okay. From what I understand, and I did look it up in several commentaries, um, that this is talking about is... Um, the, the children of Israel were going in to conquer these these nations that, that God uh, had promised to them. And so the Lord was driving out the nations, the, un, the ungodly, um, and then he was planting his people there. And, um, and also he... Uh, he did injury to the nations by driving them out and casting them out. But then the Lord put his people there and um, they they increased um, in, in numbers and purpose uh, and like that. Okay, but I'm not going to go into all that history. Um, the Lord is giving me uh, um, an understanding of this that can be applied to our, our lives and our world today. And so I'm going to be sharing that with you. Um, and uh, the Lord reminded me of something. I, I don't know if you've paid attention or not, um, but um, I, my name is Sue Love, <laughs> but I go by an, a name on the internet called Christ Free Servant. And the way this came about was that the church denomination I was brought up in, uh, though it didn't actually become an official denomination until, I'd say, the 1970s, uh, actually had its founding um, in 1881. And uh, what, it, what happened is, is the man who founded it, his name was A.B. Simpson, uh, the denomination is called the Christian Missionary Alliance, and no, it's not a cult. <laughs> it's just a conglomeration of people, of all um, Methodist, Presbyterians, all, all of that mixed together, who had a common purpose uh, for getting the, the gospel out to the people of the world, and they formed a a, a Christian society was not intended to be a, a church denomination at all, just people who who wanted to get the gospel out to the people in the world, you know, gathered together and, and sent out missionaries and um, ministered to, they were in, in New York City, they ministered to the, the immigrants there. And um, anyway, so uh, before that all began, uh, A.B. Simpson, he was a, a pastor of a Presbyterian church in New York City, and he was ministering to these immigrants, um, and a lot of them were coming to faith in Jesus Christ, and so he was inviting them to to his uh, church gathering. But the, um, the high society people in that New York City Presbyterian church didn't want those immigrants in there, you know. And so then he felt the Lord was saying that he needed to go out from the, the, the Presbyterian church and he needed to, to just serve the Lord in ministering to these, to these immigrants. And so that's what he did. And he wrote this in his journal in 1879. It is well that I should begin here for tonight. My pastor was dissolved by the Presbytery and I am Christ's free servant. And that's where the Lord uh, gave me that name when I was reading the history of the Christian Measure Alliance. And I came across that. And the Lord said, that's, that's who I want you to be. I want you to be Christ's free servant, uh, free from church denominations and free to, to do what I've called you to do. Uh, for what I was finding is so many of these church denominations have now gone the way of the world. 
Uh, they are practicing worldly practices in order to attract the world to their gatherings. They are diluting the gospel. They are altering the gospel. They are altering the character of God. They are altering the character of Jesus Christ. Uh, and, and they have just become so worldly that uh, they pretty much just kicked the Holy Spirit out of their gatherings. And now they're following men instead of God. Well, that was kind of this situation where um, these Presbyterian didn't want these Christians because they were immigrants, you know, didn't want them in their gatherings, you know, which was against God, you know, and against what God uh, wants. Um, and so, so since so many uh, of, of these institutions of men, occult uh, churches, are, are gone the way of the world, following men and following men's marketing schemes and uh, marketing the church to the world, you know, instead of following God's plan for his church, his body, uh, and, and because they are literally pushing away those of us who are following the Lord because, because we're too, too religious, you know, we're too serious about the Lord. We're, we're, um, because we're teaching, uh, uh repentance and obedience. And so many of them are not doing that anymore. So we, we are, we are literally getting pushed out, you know, and, um, and so that, that was what the Lord was calling me and saying, I want you to be Christ's servant. You know, I want you to come out of those institutions of men where they are, they are not accepting you, you know, they're not going to use you, you know, and, and I have, I have a mission for you. And he sent me out to the internet where, uh, he has been having me write almost 20 years uh and then it was in the last year doing doing these videos um and these messages are going to people across the globe uh and so it's 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 like i'm a world missionary from from right here in my own home you know um and the lord is using me in ways that the, the, the institutional church would not use me uh, and even rejected me uh, because uh, I, I had pastors tell me, go someplace else where you'll be a better fit. And I'm like, I don't fit anywhere. You know, <laughs> I mean, I fit with God, you know, but I don't fit with these institutional churches because they're of men and not of God. And I'm not saying every institutional church is like that, you know, um, but I'm saying that the majority of them have now gone the way of the world. They're following the world's methods for how to grow their 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 gatherings you know which is their businesses and uh and so they're rejecting the truth of the gospel and they're rejecting those of us who are teaching the truth of the gospel and they're basically telling us get lost you know we don't want you you know and and i've experienced that a lot you know and the lord just found it told me you know just just leave the institutional church i haven't left the church i haven't left the body of christ i'm still part of the body of christ still ministering to the body of Christ. The body of Christ is still ministering to me, you know, so I haven't left that, you know, I've just left institutions of men, you know, that they're, they're not the body of Christ, you know, even though parts of the body of Christ exist within them. And, and because I did that and I obeyed the Lord, you know, the, the, uh, the gospel has a message in the scriptures, uh, and, and teachings on godliness and holiness have been able to go out to people across the world. And, and, uh, and I, I believe with all my heart that God, God is using that, you know, in, in, in ways that I, I can't even imagine. Um, and then, so, so when this is talking about, um, your own hand, you drove out the nations and them you planted, those they planted are the, the, the ones who were, true Israel, the ones who were, were following the Lord, uh, and, and, and um, he made them free. He made them, you know, like Christ's free servant, you know. Um, now, again, I'm not going to go into all that history, uh, and, um, but just looking at how this, this may relate to our world and our situations today. And then it says, for not by their own sword did they win the land, nor did their own arm save them, but by your right hand and your arm. And that's that's very true. When we become Christ's free servants, he is the one doing the work through us, and he gets all the glory. 
This is not something that we're doing in our own flesh. I couldn't do this in my own flesh. <laughs> There's no way I'd be stumbling all over the place, you know, that that we we just need to serve the Lord wherever he plants us and in doing what his will is for our lives. And we need to be sharing the gospel with people because so many are not sharing the truth. And I'm talking about the truth of the gospel. I'm talking about repentance and, and walks of obedience on and a sacrifice, uh, sur uh, surrendering your lives to Jesus Christ, following him, doing what he says, you know, not this, I'm a Christian, but I can live however I want kind of thing. That's not, that's not a Christian, uh, not according to the scriptures, you know. So um, anyway, the Lord was just encouraging me today, you know, that I needed to encourage you that way, not saying you have to leave the institutional church. But that you need to be where God can use you in the way that God wants to use you. And if being there is hindering your ability to do that, then you need to go where where you can be used of God, you know, and not just not let people hinder you from obeying the Lord. You know, you need to obey the Lord. You need to be Christ's free servant. You need to be a person of God that he can use wherever he wherever he wants to plant you. You know, and doing whatever he has called you to do. And that really, <clears throat> that really is the encouragement today. And so I just pray today that you would just seek the Lord and ask him where he wants you, what he wants you to do, and then just obey him. Okay? All right.